The muktika (Sanskrit: muktika, English: deliverance) refers to the canon of 108 Upanishads. The date of composition of each is unknown, with the oldest probably from about 800 BCE. The principal Upanishads were composed in the first millennium BCE, most Yoga Upanishads composed probably from the 100 BCE to 300 CE period, and seven of the Sannyasa Upanishads composed before the 3rd century CE. The canon The canon is part of a dialogue between Rama and Hanuman. Rama proposes to teach Vedanta, saying, "...even by reading one verse of them any Upanishad with devotion, one gets the status of union with me, hard to get even by sages." Hanuman inquires about the different kinds of liberation. Mukti, hence the name of the Upanishad, to which Rama answers that, "...the only real type of liberation is Kaivalya." The list of 108 Upanishads is introduced in verses 26–29, But by what means is the Kaivalya kind of moksha got? The Mandukya is enough, if knowledge is not got from it, then study the ten Upanishads. Getting knowledge very soon, you will reach my abode. If certainty is not got even then, study the thirty-two Upanishads and stop. If desiring moksha without the body, read the 108 Upanishads. Hear their order, trans. Warrior. Some scholars list ten as principal, the Mukya Upanishads, while most consider twelve or thirteen as principal, most important Upanishads highlighted, the list of 108 names is given in verses 30–39. They are as follows. Transmission Almost all printed editions of ancient Vedas and Upanishads depend on the late manuscripts that are hardly older than 500 years, not on the still extant and superior oral tradition. Michael Witzel explains this oral tradition as follows. The Vedic texts were orally composed and transmitted, without the use of script, in an unbroken line of transmission from teacher to student that was formalized early on. This ensured an impeccable textual transmission superior to the classical texts of other cultures, it is, in fact, something like a tape recording. Not just the actual words, but even the long-lost musical tonal accent as in Old Greek or in Japanese has been preserved up to the present. <categories>, Categories In this canon, Ten Upanishads are associated with the Rigveda and have the Santi beginning Vanmi Manasi. Sixteen Upanishads are associated with the Samaveda and have the Santi beginning Apyantu. Nineteen Upanishads are associated with the Shukla Yajurveda and have the Santi beginning Purnamada. Thirty-two Upanishads are associated with the Krishna Yajurveda and have the Santi beginning Sahanavaveda. Thirty-one Upanishads are associated with the Atharvaveda and have the Santi beginning Bhadram Karnba. The first thirteen are grouped as Mukya principal". Twenty-one are grouped as Samanya Vedanta, common Vedanta". The remainder are associated with five different schools or sects within Hinduism, twenty with sannyasa asceticism, eight with shaktism, fourteen with Vaishnavism, twelve with Shaivism and twenty with yoga. <laughs> 